Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Barry Tone. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to play any game in 60 FPS on the Citra emulator. But before we get started this video, please make sure guys leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. Now, first things first, um, when you're on the Citra emulator, make sure you guys go to the emulation tab and go to configure. And the most important um, tab is obviously the graphics tab. Now, on the graphics tab to um, basically try to make the emulator push for 60 FPS on any given game, is most importantly is that every everything that's in the graphics tab is at the lowest resolution as possible. Like every, either anything gotta be on default or the lowest pass, possible setting it possibly can be in. So like say for example, the layout default obviously, everything is off. Everything's set to none. This is none. Um, this is set at native 400 by 24. Make sure that's very important to set that. That's how that's how basically the Citra emulator can basically push it to 60 FPS by that. And then also in the advanced tab, um, we got to turn off VSync because usually when you have VSync on for that, and this is for um, any emulator from. RPCS3, Yuzu, anything. When VSync is enabled, the games do not push to 60 FPS. They stay at 30 FPS. They're reluctant to try to push um, towards that because when you're enabling VSync, you're basically telling the emulator it's okay to go up to 60, um, 30 FPS. It's okay. You don't need to push any higher than that. So that's very important. And also, if you guys are still experiencing problems um, after disabling VSync, my next um, solution is um, disable shader jet because a um, long time ago, this is when the days that <laughs> the 3DS was Nintendo's main focus of system because the Wii U was obviously flopping. Um, on the Citra emulator, when you're when you usually disable shader jet, is usually um, get a better FPS. Like it doesn't push to 30. It goes. It goes past 30, but I don't know if that if um, shader jet used to work how it used to work. Cause I know a long time ago when you disable it, um, games are much more easier to push towards 60 FPS. But that's only only do that if you're not if games are still not pushing past 30 FPS. So that's my suggestion with that. So yeah, that's basically about it. That's how you um basically try to get games any games on the Citra emulator at 60 FPS. And also you guys need a good PC. Don't have a pretty garbage PC trying to do this stuff. But I'm pretty sure most people have good PCs nowadays. It's 2021. So yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah guys, this is your boy Tone. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.